to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alyssa. Today I have got another kind of basic recipe for you. I really have been enjoying sharing these more basic staple recipes because I feel like it gives you the opportunity to make something simple and kind of master the basics and then you can incorporate that into a bunch of different things in your meal plans. So today we are making crispy baked tofu. This is a super easy recipe. It makes the best crispy tofu without a fryer or air fryer, just uses your oven. And it's just a few simple ingredients. It can be flavored a million different ways with different spices and it can be used a bunch of different ways as well. I also have a blog post that follows this tutorial and it talks all about how to make crispy baked tofu at home. So if you wanna check that out, you can find the link right down below. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's recipe. All right, so we're gonna start by actually pressing the tofu, and you can do this either with a tofu press or just do it at home. This is a block of extra firm tofu, and I just put it on a cutting board. Then I like to put a piece of paper towel on top of it, and then I place something heavy on top of the paper towel. So in this case, I'm using a couple cookbooks. You could also use a cast iron pan. You could use a tea kettle. Just something heavy that will like press the tofu down, and it will release some of the water helps it crisp up in the oven. I would let it press for about 30 minutes, uh, longer if you can, but minimum 30 minutes. And then we are just going to cut it into our little cubes. So I do that by slicing it into steaks and then I cut the steaks in half and then I cut those into the cubes. Once you have your cubes all cut up, you can transfer them into a mixing bowl. And then you are going to add just a little bit of olive oil or whatever sort of oil you want to use. I think you could also use cooking spray, that would work. And then sprinkle it with salt and pepper. If you do wanna flavor it with spices like curry powder, smoked paprika, cinnamon, you can do that here. And then give everything a quick mix until everything is combined and coated and everything like that and we will transfer this on to a baking sheet. So I recommend that you actually spray your baking sheet so the tofu doesn't stick as it bakes and use your hands to separate the tofu out on the pan. So you wanna make sure that none of the tofu is overlapping. It's all laying flat on one side. It doesn't really matter what side, but you just wanna make sure that it's laying flat. And again, you wanna make sure that each little piece has a little bit of space around it. And then we will bake this. And while it's baking, you are gonna to wanna to flip it halfway through. So just remove the pan and you'll just use your hands or a fork to just flip the tofu onto its opposite side. It doesn't have to be flipped onto all of the corners or all the sides, but just on the other side. And then you'll just finish it baking and that's all you gotta do. That's how you make it. Once it comes out of the oven, it will be nice and crispy on all of the different sides. And here is a look of what it looks like. It will have a crispy outside, a soft inside, and again, it can be flavored a million different ways. So if you do wanna use a sauce with it, like buffalo sauce or something like that, you're gonna do that after the first flip, but if you wanna season it with spices, again, do that with the mixing. And then for serving, you can do this on top of a salad. Here it is on top of my best massaged kale salad. I also love this in tacos. I love it in Buddha bowls. I love it as a snack. There are so, so many ways to use it. And there you have it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make crispy baked tofu. As you can see, this is a crazy simple recipe, but like I said, it can be used so many different ways. Everything from your Buddha bowls, your salads, your tacos, your curries, and it also just is like a really great snack if you just keep it in a little container and snack on it. High protein, crispy, salty, and so good. So I hope you guys do give it a try. If you do come back to this video, let me know what you think. If you have any fun flavoring ideas or any tweaks that you make, I love knowing about those as well. So please let me know down in the comments. And like I said, if you want a written out version of this video, you can find that on the blog and that is linked down below for you. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. If there's any other basic type videos that you wanna see, let me know. Uh, what else? Don't forget to subscribe. You're not yet part of our community here on YouTube. There's a red button right below this video that says subscribe. And I've been talking a million miles a minute, but <laughs> thank you for being here. I appreciate you tuning in and watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.